into the present. So I'm wearing this purposefully to remind us, hey, let's not worry about the future so much. Let's just worry about the right here and the right now. It's a little bit of irony. Anyway, um, let's start on the map. I'll be over here. Ah, all right. So just coming to a nice, easy seat or Sukhanasana, whatever feels good. And I did send out a newsletter, uh, or at least posted a newsletter today about grounding and centering and setting our intentions. And I invite you to go and to read that. If you can't find it, let me know. Uh, but I will also be posting it connected to this video as well. But part of this is just being able to clear ourselves out. And so in our nice Sukhanasana, our easy seat, maybe just relaxing the shoulders, giving a few shoulder circles. Let those tensions go. When we hold on to that, the trauma of the day or the trauma of the past, it all gets into our hips and it gets into our shoulders. Let's see if we can let some of that go so that we have more space to set intentions for the spring equinox. And I invite you to take your palms, palms down on our sides, help us to ground ourselves. Or if you want to, you can have your palms at the side or even behind you. Finding that comfortable position. And we're going to do a few moments of breath. So wherever you're at, I invite you to inhale for maybe a count of five, holding at the top for just one moment, and then exhale as lengthy as you can, maybe counting all the way up to 10, or just try to go a little bit more than five, so maybe exhaling to six or to seven. And then we'll try it again, inhaling slowly for that count of five. Holding at the top. Then exhaling, maybe for one extra count. So if you made it to seven, maybe this time try to make it to eight. And one last time. Inhaling slowly to that count of five. Holding. And then exhaling. See, you can go a little further, maybe to a count of nine or 10 this time. Excellent. Okay, let's take our hands Interlace the fingers, palms up toward the ceiling, reaching out, stretching the side body, side to side, maybe even giving a micro back bend. Wiggle it out a little bit. And release. And then bring the fingers, interlace the fingers behind the back, stretch the shoulders down, open up the heart space, open up the throat chakra, and exhale, hinging at the hips, holding forward. I happen to have a block right here by my forehead. Maybe that feels nice for you to just stop there at that block. Or maybe going all the way down, pulling the pinkies as far up as feels comfortable. If you have an injured shoulder, listen to that injured shoulder. And release. Coming back up to seated position, let's come into Baddha Konasana, bottoms of the feet together holding on to those toes. Maybe if you need to, you can grab onto your belt. If your feet are a little bit further in front of you, you can even see my feet. Uh, maybe, maybe you need that belt if you can't quite get the heels close to your hips. Keeping that spine nice and tall. And each exhale, maybe lean just a little bit forward. Maybe even butterfly flapping the knees a little bit to loosen to invite space into the hip. At this time, be, maybe it'd be nice to bring the chin all the way down to the chest. I feel like I do it automatically here. See if you can feel a stretch in the back of the neck, which is a loosening 
if it was a little bit tense. And maybe here while we're sitting here for this moment, uh, thinking about those intentions that we set in the last season and what intentions you might wanna keep and what intentions you might wanna change. And we don't have to commit to anything right now, but I'd invite you to maybe commit to three or tomorrow during the spring equinox, equinox, whatever. <laughs> Okay, so from here, let's release, let's come out of our little hip stretch here, and we're going to briefly roll into a cat-cow. So we're in our tabletop and gently rolling through. And I'm going to give up a little challenge here after we're done warming up the spine, really lubricating the spine. And we're going to come up to a standing position, but I have a little challenge for anyone who's interested. Okay, so from our cat cow, I'm going to cross my ankles and come back into my seated position. And the challenge is, can we stand up from this crisscross applesauce position without falling over? But do whatever you need to do to join me um, in our standing position. But if you can, maybe see if, can you press into the seat and Slowly start to rise up. And when you can, slowly stacking the vertebrae by vertebrae, coming up to a standing position. However you get here, let's join here. Okay, so we're going to do some half sun salutations. I'll wake up the lungs and heart. Pressing my feet into the mat, grounding in. Remember, I showed it last week. So really digging the the feet, the balls of the feet into the earth, feeling the, the heels really pressing in, rooting down. And from here, inhaling, reaching the fingertips up to extended mountain. Exhale, leading your heart space, your spine long, hinging at the hips, diving forward. Pause here for just a moment in our forward fold. Breathing into the backs of our legs, knees are gently bent, maybe even rubbing the backs of the legs. Hello. Okay, inhale, halfway lift, neck is long, back is strong. Exhale, forward fold. And as we've been doing lately, we're going to inhale up into a chair pose. Our chair is going to be different today. We're going to do a little dynamic chair. So from here, we're going to do a little inhale, opening up the chest. Exhale, bending at the waist. The torso comes to the top of the thighs. Arms come back. Inhale, arms come back up. Torso is up. Exhale, coming back again. Inhale, coming up once more, opening up the heart space. Exhale, hinging at the hips, diving down, arms are back. Okay, this time, inhale, coming up to standing, arms come forward, weight goes on the left foot, right knee bends. So we could stay right here, right toes are on the mat, knee is bent, or press through the left foot. Activate the core, spine is long, inhale the knee up to the weight. Interlace the fingers around the right knee. Maybe give yourself some ankle circles. So from here, I could take my left hand and hold onto a wall or a chair. I'm gonna bring that right knee out to the side. You don't have to make this into a tree posture, but really pulling the knee out to the side helps to open up and release any of the tensions in our knee. And then I'm going to release that right knee and step back into a high lunge. Okay, so from here, we're going to do a little dynamic movement as well. So we've done this before. My left knee is bent, right leg is straight. 
but I'm going to inhale, straighten the left knee, inhale the arms up overhead. And when I exhale, I'm going to come down, arms come into cactus, pulling back behind and left knee bends. So we'll do this about three to five times. Inhale, reaching the arms out above, straightening the left knee. Exhale, bending the knee, cactus arms. Inhale. And exhale, cactus arms, I love you. Inhale. And exhale, really pulling those elbows back to open up the heart space. Once more, inhale, straightening the knee. And exhale, bending the knee. Okay, holding here for a moment. And then, oh, I'm going to stretch my back out a little bit. Sorry. I'm going to turn my torso, turn my body. So we are in a wide-legged position. So now I'm going to be along the length of my mat. We're going to do some uh, squats here. So some goddess squats. Stretching the arms out into a wide V. Heels are in, toes are out. Exhale, down into goddess. We're bringing that <laughs> cactus, not cactus, cactus arms back. Knees are bending out to the side. Inhale, sending out to star posture. Exhale, coming back down. Sending the energy down the tailbone, rounding toward the earth. Two more. Inhale, reaching out. Exhale, cactus goddess. One more. Inhale and exhale. Excellent. Turning my body back to so that the left leg is forward, reaching toward the front of the mat, stepping my legs together, and we're going to start all over again. Okay, shake the legs out, shake the arms out, release any tensions, really feel yourself rooted into the earth. We'll start again. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, diving forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And we'll come into a chair posture. Inhale, chair. This time where our dynamic movement in chair is going to be a gentle twist. So inhaling here, arms up. Exhale, right fingertips back, left forward. Inhale, maybe even standing up a little bit if we need to. Exhale, sending the left fingertips back, sitting back into a chair. So I'm back in chair, but I'm going twisting to the other side. Inhale, coming to center, maybe standing a little bit, arms up. Exhale, twisting to the other side. Let's do this a few more times. Inhale, standing a little, arms up. Exhale, twisting, left fingertips back. Do one more round. Inhale. Exhale, twisting, right fingertips back. Inhale. Last one. Exhale, sending left fingertips back. All right, excellent. Coming back up to our standing position, weight goes onto the right leg. Inhale, the left knee bent, left toes are on the mat. You can stay there or inhale that left knee up to the waist, interlace the fingers. Give yourself some ankle circles. Pull that belly button into the spine, spine nice and tall, activating your core and Pulling the left knee out to the side, holding onto a chair, a wall, a dog, another person, but really pulling that left knee out to the side, opening up, releasing tension in the hip. And release, stepping back into that high lunge once more. Okay, so same thing on this side. So I have my right knee is bent, knee is over the ankle, Left knee is nice and straight. Inhale, arms up overhead. All right, so from here, inhale, straightening the, the front leg. Exhale, bending the knee, cactus arms. Inhale, arms up, straightening the knee. Exhale, cactus arms. Really pulling those elbows back. Inhale, and exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, bending the knee, cactus arms. Once more, inhale and exhale. All right. Woo, excellent. This time we're going to turn the other direction, wide-legged forward fold. I'm going to turn around just so I can face you, but um, what, uh, feet are wide. Inhale, opening up that chest, hinging at the hips, let the heart lead the way forward fold. 
Ah, all right. Letting your hands come to a block or maybe to your shins or all the way down. Let the head release, the neck release. Our fingers over to the left foot. Pause for a moment. And then walk our fingers over to the right foot. And pause. We'll do this a couple more times. Then we're going to go into some skandasana. Don't worry if you don't remember what that is. Okay, now we're going to try it going into skandasana. So that means all of my weight is going to come over to the left foot, bending my left knee, straightening my right leg out, right toes are active, sending up toward the top of the ceiling. I keep saying top of the ceiling. No, it's just the ceiling, sorry. Okay, and then using my hands if I need to, I'm gonna shift the weight to the other side, bending the right knee, left leg is straight out. Maybe bringing the hands to the heart, Okay, let's try it one more time. This time, as I come to the left foot, left foot weighted, I'm gonna bring my left hand down to the inside of my left leg, right fingertips come up to the ceiling, a little twist. And then let's switch sides. So gently transferring my weight to the right foot, right hand goes to the inside of the right leg, Left foot is straight. Now a little twist. Excellent. Okay. Coming back into the center and take a moment to just forward fold and relax. Feel your feet connected to the earth. Feel your hands connected to the earth. Whether or not you're touching the mat, doesn't matter. You could be on a block. Still finding that connection. All right, transfer the weight so that my left foot, now I'm gonna be facing the front of my mat. So my left foot is forward, left knee is bent. Straightening my back leg here, holding myself here. Now you can hold this position or straighten that front leg so that we come into a triangle. So you might need to move that back leg up. So we're in triangle, so the toes are all facing the same direction. Keeping my hands on the mat, exhale, bending the front knee. Does that make sense? So we're going into uh, a lunge, like a high lunge, and then moving back into a pyramid. If you need to do this with blocks, we're gonna move back and forth for about three to five times. So bending the knee and straightening the knee, taking a breath for each one. You could have a block next to your feet. You could even have your hands on your hips or hands just on the mat. So it's almost like we're in a runner pose. And then we straighten that knee. Do it once more. Bend the knee and then straighten the knee. Okay, shift the weight to come through the center so that we're in a forward fold. Breathe here for just a moment and then we'll shift the weight going the opposite direction, but doing the same thing. Okay, so shifting the weight to the right foot, framing the right foot, back leg is straight. Toes are going the same direction. You're going probably toward the back of your mat now. Okay, so I'm gonna straighten my right knee into triangle. Again, if you need to move up your left foot, you can. And then bending that right knee. Taking the breath with each movement. Again, doing this about three to five times. Feeling that connection and feeling the breath and the movement coinciding. Excellent. Do one more, straightening that knee and then bending the knee and shifting the weight to come into our forward fold once more. All right, let's bring our feet together into our forward fold and slowly stepping up through, standing up, not stepping up, <laughs> pressing through the feet, coming into a standing position. Okay, so from here, I'm going to take my fingers, inhale my fingers up toward the ceiling, interlace the fingers, point your finger is released, point your finger going up toward the top of the, the ceiling and a gentle, gentle back bend. 
release the fingers, interlace the fingers behind the back, pulling the shoulders away from the ears, hinge at the hips, folding forward. Release, come back up. Let's do that one more time. All right, interlace the fingers. Pointer finger is free, pointing up to the top. Micro bend, micro back bend. And then exhale, releasing the fingers, interlacing behind the back, pulling the shoulders down. Let the heart lead the way, folding forward. And release. Okay, Ooh. from here, tapping into our left foot, inhale the, the right knee up, interlacing the fingers around the knee, really pressing the knee into the fingers and the fingers into the knee. Now we're gonna do a little hand to toe here. You have options. You can stay right here in this posture or take the right hand, reach the toes and maybe this is as far as you get. Just holding the toe, right knee is bent. Or maybe you try kicking that, that right leg out without falling over like I just did. Kicking that out, straightening the knee as much as feels comfortable. Release our hold here and bring the foot through so that the right heel now is at the right butt. Flamingo. Hold on to flamingo or kick the right foot into the right hand, stretch the left hand out for dancers. See how far you can bend, that feels comfortable. And then release, come back up to standing. Awesome. All right, from here, inhale, reach fingertips up toward the top of the Keep going to say yurt, but I'm not teaching a yurt right now. Exhale, forward fold. Place the hands on the mat. Step or hop back into a down dog. From the down dog, take a moment, pedal it out. And then ripple the back into a plank. And this could be supported plank. Pulling that belly button in, holding our plank. Ripple back, pressing back into down dog. From down dog, ripple out into plank or supported plank. And then pressing back into down dog. I like to start my press back actually with my belly, not my fingers. Okay, once more, rippling out to, to our plank, holding plank for right here, pulling that belly button to the spine. Inhale, and we're going to go into a malasana. So you can either step into the malasana, legs on, feet on either side of the hands, or hop, feet onto either side of the hands. Elbows are into the leg, opening up the hips. Now hold here. You can either stay in your malasana right here or add a little bit more cardio. Press through the hands and hop back to plank, and then hop back to malasana. Again, stay right here or once more, pressing through the fingers, hop back to plank, and then hop back to malasana. Take one slow breath here, and then slowly standing up, maybe going by hips first, move the feet into the center, stretching out a little bit, inhale, coming all the way up to standing. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, weight goes into the right foot. Left knee floats up. Interlace the fingers. Press the knee into the fingers. Fingers pull onto the knee. Stay here or really feeling the right foot rooted into the mat. Grab hold. Left fingertips hold on to the left toes. And maybe we stay here right where it's bent. Your knee is bent, but your belly is Activated, your spine is nice and tall. Or maybe we kick out, find your drishti, find a wall. We kick that leg out. We can release that foot, bring the heel, left heel to left buttock, flamingo. 
hold it here or kick left foot into the left hand, right hand reaches out, stance there. Release, bring both feet next together. Inhale, fingertips up to extended mountain. Exhale, diving down, heart leads the way. Place the hands on the mat, step or hop back into down dog. Okay, from here, rippling back into our plank or supported plank. And then pressing back into down dog. We'll do this two more times. Rippling through the body into plank, pulling that belly button into that spine. And exhale, letting the belly and the hips lead the way. Down dog. Once more going into plank. And then we'll come into the malasana hop. So step or hop into malasana. Feet are on the either side of the hands. Stay in our malasana with the elbows into the thighs or into the knees. Or press through the fingers and hop back into plank. We'll do that two more times. Malasana. Plank. Once more. Malasana. And plank. All right, this time from here, if you're in plank, we're gonna go into a bear. Bear is almost a tabletop. So if you need to, you can come into the tabletop, curl the toes and let the knees hover. Or if you're in plank and you'd like to, just see if you can hop in to the center. Toes are on the mat, heels are up, belly button is active, back to the arms are active, knees are hovering. All right, are you ready? Okay, we can release the knees now. Cross the ankles, we'll go back into a seated position. So close to the end. Hope you are doing well with this. All right, so taking this out, we're actually gonna go into a little bit of a boat variation. Then we're gonna do a reclined um, hand to toe and we'll have a savasana of your choosing, a very short one. Okay, so from here, get the keep getting the core active. Holding onto the back of the thigh, really extending the spine, leaning back, opening up the heart and the throat. And of course, you can just hold it right here or release the hands or release the feet. If your legs are up and you'd like a little challenge, try kicking your legs. So we're in the boat, but we're moving our legs up and down. But you choose the version of boat that's going to work best for you. Notice I'm still talking to that, hopefully. You won't notice that you're still kicking your legs, <laughs> working on your core. All right, and release. Whew. Feet on the mat, knees are bent, and I invite you to slowly use that core to slowly lower down vertebrae by vertebrae. Okay, bring the heels in toward the hip and bring your head up, your head and your neck just up off of the mat. And I'm going to reach my right hand toward my right foot, left for the left, switching back and forth. Right reaches, then left reaches, right, then left. A little bit of oblique workout. And release. Phew. All right, let's stretch out from using all of this core. Let's stretch that out. Let's do a little counter stretch with a bridge posture. All right, pressing through the feet, pressing through the hands of the arms, forearms. Inhale, the hips up nice and high. And you can hold it right here or bring those hands interlaced behind the back, pulling the fingers toward the heels, maybe even moving the heels toward the fingers. Really activating the glutes and your core, sending the hips up toward the ceiling. Not the top of the yurt. I'm not in a yurt right now. I wish I was, but alas, I am not. And release the fingers. I'm coming down. Ooh, perfect. Keeping the left knee bent. The right foot. Let's just do a little hug first. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice little hug, maybe even rocking back and forth a bit. 
if this feels good, but you are more concerned about your hip, maybe you want to do a little happy baby, pulling those knees into your armpit, really trying to release any of the tensions that you might have in that hip. All right, and release. Let's put, now we'll put the left leg down, bring the right toes to the right foot. And you'll notice that my knee is bent and maybe this is all you can do. And you're really trying to kick that right heel up away toward the top of the ceiling. And if your knee is still bent, that's okay. If you can straighten it out a little bit, careful with the knee, don't go too far, great. So maybe you're bent, but you're really, Active, don't be lazy with it. You're sending the energy out that right heel. And if you can, if it is in your toolbox today, you can even let that right leg fall to the side. Maybe your left knee is going to bend. And that's okay. And release, let's come back into the center. Right leg is bent, foot is on the mat, and we'll bring the left foot up. And maybe I'll have left hand with left toe, and maybe I have a nice bent knee, or maybe I'm straightening the knee a little bit more, but whatever it is, you're sending energy out the back of the leg, out the left heel toward the top of the ceiling. And you can hold it right there, hold whatever you're doing, or allow the left leg to fall over to the side as far as is comfortable. Maybe you hit your mirror or a wall, or maybe you don't. And the right knee is going to bend and kind of come with you a little bit. A little gentle twist while also stretching out the hamstring and the hip. And release, coming back into the center and coming into a Supta Baddha Konasana. So on our back, bottoms of the feet together, allowing the knees to fall either side, maybe like doing a couple butterfly wings. And take a moment, we'll take about three breaths. We'll invite you to bring hand to heart and hand to belly. And just witness the inhale and the exhale. Remembering that, if we are going to set new intentions, what will those intentions be? What are the things that you want to change or continue in your life? When you're ready, release those knees Bring the knees to the chest, and I'm going to roll myself up to a seated position. If you want to find your way rolling to a seated position, this, of course, is a great opportunity to just go into your corpse pose and relax or breathe or meditate or come and join me for closing out the class right here. I invite you to go and check out the website and see about all about changing our uh, seasonal intentions for the next few months. But for right now, let's just be thankful for being here and being present in the here and in the now. So from our easy seat, inhaling arms up overhead, gathering up all the good that we can, palms together, exhale, hands to heart, bowing. The light in me sees and 